basically we're gonna just dive right in the people of tiktok have spoken there's a lot of you with a lot of dilemmas about uni about applying to medicine basically i'm gonna be your older sister for the end of 2021 and i'm gonna answer some of your problems so that maybe i can kind of help resolve them by giving a little bit of advice and just as a quick disclaimer all of these answers are kind of like quick fire answers some of you guys might want extra detail and if you want i can make more videos or i can direct you guys to videos i've already made in the past don't expect me to give you a five minute answer for each one i'm just gonna go with whatever is at the top of my head okay so the first one is from life of omar b and he said how do you learn anatomy the way i learned anatomy was by basically making flashcards i'm gonna link um, my videos to anki and how i use it how i make my flashcards how i organize them because that saved my life the only way to remember anatomy is just by space repetition keep testing yourself because there's no other way to do it somebody's asked the difficulty of medicine versus a level biology versus a level chemistry so medicine i would say each topic that you learn it's not too hard some of the concepts can be hard to get your head around i think the biggest challenge about studying medicine is the fact that you have too much content to learn and you're basically trying to be like a like a pro at like neurology and ophthalmology and, and like obstetrics and gynecology that's why i'd say it's harder than biology and chemistry because obviously you've got to apply the knowledge that you learn you know you've got so much content that you have to learn as well i think that's what makes it really challenging pritika has said work experience or volunteering opportunities due to covid i think there are a lot of online um work experiences that you could do so you just have to kind of google like work online work experience for a gp just so you can get some experience i'll link a few resource that you can use below because obviously when I was applying for medical school I did in-person work experience so I've never done online before so I can't really give away too much so me underscore 2004 has said I'm receiving rejections feeling bad help okay getting rejections i'm gonna do a whole big video on this because i've been rejected by so many unis actually luster was my only offer that i got for like my interviews and stuff i got rejected straight away by imperial birmingham and nottingham and i think the best way to deal with it is actually try and contact the uni and be like why did you reject me man like what's going on and see if you can get any kind of feedback from them so that if you do have to reapply the following year then you can use that to your advantage and basically have a better application so don't be too disheartened it's not the end of the world you know if you have to take a gap year or whatever one year is going to go like this so i would say just kind of hang in there and i'm sure you'll be okay but the main thing is why did they reject you and where did you go wrong i think it's called waffly waffleino said i applied for medicine but now i want to do dentistry what do i do bruv I, I don't know what i would do i mean you applied for medicine so i guess you got to see if you get the offers or not the best thing to do there is take a gap year and reapply for dentistry because clearly you're going down the wrong path but i'd say if you are in a confused state like that i think you need to make sure you compare both sides of like medicine versus dentistry what's better for you what's the lifestyle what's the job going to be like um do loads of work experience so you don't get into a position where you're like ah I don't think I want to be a doctor anymore. I want to be a dentist. Good luck. I hope you end up applying to medicine in the future. Sal Henley 30 has said, how do you revise for A-level chem? I can do bio, but chem I find so difficult. Obviously times have changed. The specifications have changed and like COVID has changed a lot of things. From when I did my A-levels many, many moons ago, what I basically did was practice loads of questions. And you know what? I was so nerdy that I would practice questions from other exam boards as well. And the reason I did that was basically because I wanted like to make sure that I knew chemistry inside out. I think I was really close to an A star, but I got an A in the end, which is all I needed to get into Leicester University anyway. It's underscore Am Amzi1 has said, what's the core structure like for medicine at Leicester? Basically, you have phase one and phase two. Phase one is basically where you do all your preclinical stuff. So you learn all of like the anatomy, the physiology, um, and some kind of basic medical conditions and stuff like that then in phase two is your clinical years where basically you apply everything you've learned into like each specialty third year you have gp surgery and general medicine in fourth year you have like six specialties so i've done so far neurology and special senses older person integrated care now on obs and gynae and then i've got psych and then i've got pediatrics and i've got cancer care final year you basically do like a mishmash of everything so you get like a general overview but the point is you've got preclinical versus clinical and in clinical years you're basically in the hospitals on the wards and you're learning on the go someone's asked what to do in your gap year and all that info i didn't do a gap year but from people that i know who have done gap years what they basically did is first of all they worked they got a job because it's something to do nine to five there's no point moping around at home if you can get it in a healthcare setting that's really great because then you can use that to learn from your experiences and write that in your personal statement and stuff so that's something that i would do if you're resetting your a levels and work towards that schedule a little bit of time work towards your 
A levels. I think Faye Bait, who's another huge medic YouTuber, I think she's got a whole video on gap year. So I think definitely watch that. So I'll link that below as well. What you need to do is get loads of experience, work on the things that you kind of messed up on the year before, whether it's your UCAT, your personal statement, or your A levels. And don't think it's a waste of a year because you can learn so much. And what, if you've saved enough money, then you can go traveling as well. So one of my regrets genuinely is I wish I took a gap year because I would have had a massive break between A levels and then doing like medicine because I feel like I'm gonna be so burnt out by the end of this course but you know we're living through it all so it's fine. Bobby Bilal one has said volunteering work and UCAT but UCAT my best advice is in the summer of year 12 spend about six weeks practicing loads of questions. I have to be honest I hate the UCAT hence why I don't make videos on it because what's the point of me making videos on something that I really don't enjoy doing? The whole process was such a chore for me but I did it anyway and my score wasn't like really high or really low it was like in, in the middle and I think it's because I just didn't enjoy it but my best advice is practice loads of questions there's loads of YouTube videos out there that are describing what the UCAT is like and the final thing is you can use a resource called Medify which is basically an online simulation of what the UCAT is going to be. So Oxen552 has asked what should I be doing in year 12 right now? basically my friend focus on your a levels you have nothing else to be worrying about focus on getting all your year 12 content solid so that when it comes to year 13 you're revising it again then you don't need to worry about it too much that nine jababe has said how to revise in med school space repetition you can use flashcards practice loads of questions and you can use notion as well to help kind of organize all your notes i've already made a few videos on this so i'm going to link them somewhere above but the key thing is is to, you have to do a little bit every day so you're not going to overwhelm yourself and continuously reflect like have I done enough this week do I understand what I've learned and what am I going to plan to do next week and it's just like making sure that you know exactly what you're doing in the underscore 0607 has said how do we revise and she's in year 10 when you're revising especially if you're GCSEs A levels and even at medical school you basically need to know what are the learning points so what am I supposed to know so go to your specification or at uni you can go to your learning objectives go through that and figure out what you need to actually know and what you don't need to know go through your you know your textbooks or online resources and once you've understood the basics of the co content don't expect yourself to memorize it but have a go at some questions just so you know kind of what the exam board is expecting from you so that you have an idea right okay I don't really know how to describe how photosynthesis occurs so I need to go and revise that again and then come up with a good four mark answer for it so it's kind of like a back and forth process of going back to your notes and the specification doing the questions and then realizing actually I don't know this so I'm going to go and revise that again hi beautiful x has said I have a level mocks coming up and we're having major family issues oh no I'm so sorry to hear that and I don't know what to do okay so obviously when you're in a study environment you want to be you know it needs to be quiet and you want to be able to concentrate on your studies as well and I'm really sorry that you're going through your family Family issues I hope you know they get resolved soon but if you're able to and hopefully COVID allows you to maybe just if you're able to go to the library to try and do your work there and you know you can set yourself a plan take lunch with you if that's the case or come home for lunch um, I'd say that's the best advice I can give you um, because sometimes being at home isn't the best environment and you might have to switch up um, but do let me know if everything's resolved okay so it seems like I've answered all of your guys's questions um, on TikTok if you have any more questions about anything to do with medicine or applying or just how to revise or whatever in general do comment on my tiktoks um dm me on instagram and comment on this youtube video as well just so that i can help you guys out for the new year and like always please make sure you like comment and subscribe and share this with all of your friends who you think might benefit from some of my videos watch out because i'm going to be making more and i look forward to seeing you guys soon